Your social life is very limited. Ooh, you think you are hot. <laughs> You're always happy. You love to cook in your free time. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I am exponentially growing. <laughs> I drive too slow. <laughs> Today, we're going to be addressing your assumptions about me. So some days ago, I asked the YouTube community to send in your assumptions about me. So these are not questions, they're statements that I can answer as true or false. My team collected these. I haven't seen them yet. They told me there were about 400 assumptions. They reduced it to around 50. So I'm going to try and address as many as I can right now. Let's get to it. You spend most nights working. False. So I used to spend a lot of nights working. Nowadays, I don't. I dream a lot about work, though. You are super organized and have good systems. True. I would like it to be true. Um, some days I'm a mess. But generally, I try to be super organized and I do have systems. I love systems. I love tasks, task lists. I love crossed off tasks as well. You have another job beside your YouTube channel. Yeah, we run a business. So there is many different <laughs> jobs that I'm doing right now. But the main one is a teacher. That's what I see myself as. So we have courses that we create and the YouTube channel is a part of the job. You wake up effortlessly looking beautiful. I wish that was true. It might look effortless on the camera, but there's a lot of effort that goes into it. So just like our videos, some people comment like, oh, that looks so effortless, so easy to do. But yeah, there's a lot of work done behind the scenes. The same with my look. You are a perfectionist. True to an extent, but not 100%. Because if you take a look at my first videos that I posted, they're far from perfect. So if I was a true perfectionist, I would never post them. But I have an idea of how I want things to be. And as long as I'm getting closer to the idea, I'm fine with that. You sometimes use a long method. <laughs> okay, I think this one was someone who watched one of my shorts. There's one specific one where I use the sequence function to create you know, a list of numbers. And I say, don't drag down your sequence. And that one gets so many comments like, oh, women make things so complicated. Why are you using a long method? I just want to drag down. But yeah, it's a short. So I don't have time to explain the benefits of this method. Basically, if you delete stuff in the middle, you don't have to drag down again. So, you know, you can end up saving time that way. Sometimes there isn't enough time to talk about all the different ways you can do something and the advantages and disadvantages with that. You'll just have to judge for yourself to see if that method is right for you or not. You spend more time on video editing than recording videos. Thank God that is false because I'm not a good video editor. I do spend most of my time recording videos. You actually consult Microsoft on how to make Microsoft Office better. To an extent, yes. So I'm a Microsoft MVP. We do have meetings with the Microsoft team and we do give our feedback and they do take our feedback seriously. At least I think so. You prefer acting the newbie rather than the pro. Oh yeah, I love acting the newbie. I identify myself with the newbie, not with the pro. Pro is too strict. Improving yourself, knowledge and mindset is a must in your life. That is true. So I like to learn new things, usually read about different topics, different things about the business, also programming, technical, non-technical, but I don't read novels. I think I should do that. I don't. At least the last one I read, I think, was ages ago. You meditate often. I try to. So meditation for me wasn't working, um, but I discovered a great book. If, in case you're interested, you should, um, you should check this out. It's called the peak mind and that type of meditation works for me so it's just like 12 minutes you have to focus on your breath it's there to improve your focus i just feel like it makes me more present and i can concentrate better you would never buy a mac <laughs> okay so i'm not sure if i would be that extreme i also said in my last video that i'm a cat person i would never get a dog but now i have a dog so never say never you're a cat person. Okay, I just answered that. You like to wake up early. False. I wake up early by design. Um, I think I'm just like that. So I would love to sleep in late, but I just can't. No matter how late I go to bed, I end up waking up early. You are arrogant. Hmm. I don't think I'm arrogant. If I come across as arrogant, it's probably because I'm shy and I'm reserved. So maybe it comes across as arrogant. 
You never use Lotus 123. Okay, true, but I have seen Lotus 123. So there was a company that we consulted in South Africa and they had Lotus 123. So I've been exposed to it, but yeah, I've never used it. You're clever. Your IQ is above 130. <laughs> okay, no. So if there is like something super simple to do or like some super easy task that anyone could do, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. I'm probably one like, how do you do this? Like if you have like bottles that you're supposed to open with a bottle opener, I'll be like, I'm not sure how this works. But then sometimes like you have a very difficult task or some something complex. And then my husband and my son are like, might be struggling with that. And they'll be like, okay, how do you do it? And then I'll be like, oh, you just do it like this. It balances overall. You binge watch Netflix. I would like to say that would be true. But um, no, I managed to watch like one or two episodes on the weekends. I think the most binge watching I've done was to watch two episodes back to back. You wouldn't put pineapple on a pizza. Yeah, no, pineapple doesn't belong on a pizza. I would rather put peanuts on a pizza. I think that would be a good thing. Your team is smart. Yeah, that's true. They're smarter than me, actually. You never Google yourself. Um, not really. Yeah, I don't. I have Googled myself some time ago. Some weird stuff popped up, but yeah. <laughs> Your favorite machine at the gym is the vending machine. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have a vending machine. It would be my favorite one if we had one, but yeah, no, that's a good one, actually. You prefer tea over coffee. False. Coffee more, tea a bit less, but I do drink both during the day. You make six figures with the Excel Plus content. True. We make six figures a month with the content, seven figures in a year. It's not me actually that's making the money. It's the company that makes the money. So I earn a salary just like my team earns a salary. And we try to invest the money back into the business, improving the business, improving the content and the courses that we're offering. You speak English, Arabic and German. Yeah, I speak English. I try to speak German. And no, I don't speak Arabic. I speak Farsi. You find it easy to talk to most people because you are charming. False. I find it very difficult to talk to people. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't come naturally for me. You love learning new and cutting edge tech. That's true. You loved Excel at first sight. No, actually I didn't. I didn't get the purpose of Excel. So I started using it as an economist. And I thought it was like paint, you know, I was just coloring the different numbers, <laughs> different, different colors. Um, so I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it at the beginning, but it didn't take long, a couple of weeks. And I, I realized there are formulas you can use there. You have a great sense of humor, but well, I'm not sure I can address that. But my husband says that um, I'm fun to live with, I think. You are where a Toastmaster falls. I did attend a Toastmaster meeting, I think maybe two. But that was it. Your home has heated floors. Hmm, looks like someone's been to my home. <laughs> you prefer Excel over Power BI. Ooh, difficult. Um, depends on what I need to do. I think I like both the same. It's kind of like saying like you prefer this kid over that kid. You know, you, you don't officially want to say anything. Your social, <laughs> your social, Your social life is very limited. Ooh, yeah, true. I don't have much of a social life. I think my social life is fine, actually, but it depends. It's relative, right? Some people might think, oh my God, she has no life whatsoever. I think it's fine. You think you are hot. <laughs> okay, so I try to do the best I can with the assets that I have, but um, I try to look decent and presentable. I don't think that's hot. You love to cook in your free time. Uh, no. I like to mix chips and yogurt. If that's cooking, yes. You take laptop with Excel on your holiday trip. Laptop with Excel. Okay, my laptop has Excel on it. And yes, I do take my laptop on the trip sometimes. Not all trips, but some trips. I don't work. My husband might end up working sometimes, but I try not to work. You are from and you live in India. False. Both, not from and don't live. You don't do your makeup by yourself. I do. I don't know. I don't think my husband would like to do my makeup. You are cheering for Brazil to win the World Cup. Yeah, although this year I'm, I'm really not picky who wins. You earned excellent grades in high school and college. 
Yeah, I was a bit of a nerd. It's true. You're always happy. Eh, no, that's not true. So I try my best, and usually it doesn't work out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, always, always is too strong. You know how to code in Python language. I am learning Python right now, so I'll answer this in three months. Three months. You always correct formatting when you first see someone's Excel sheet. Yeah, especially if they're using some ugly formatting in their Excel tables. I will remove that. You love Käsespätzle. <laughs> yeah, Käsespätzle is um, delish. Delish. You are an introvert person not having many friends. True. Yeah, I don't have many friends. And I am an introvert person. I'm happy like that. Your exponential growth is hard to manage. I hope it's not my body growth, <laughs> but the business growth. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I am exponentially growing, <laughs> especially during the Christmas holidays. But yeah, the, the company growth, it is hard to manage. There is a lot of things that come with it. So we're trying our best to come up with good ideas that can help our students learn easier, better. You wear jean trousers to work. No, I used to, but I don't anymore. I wear more like comfy clothes to work. You make spontaneous decisions as you go along. Not really. No, no, I'm not one who's like going with the flow. I'm one like, what is the flow going to look like? Where is it going? And that's where we're going. You do mental math calculations without the need of calculator or Excel. I wish that was true. I'm so bad in math. So bad. Thank God there's a calculator and thank God there's Excel. You have a very large walk in closet full of fabulous clothes. Like these. I have a closet. It is kind of full. We should get rid of a bunch of stuff, which we did recently. But I, I don't call them fabulous. They are clothes. They do the job. You read a lot. True. I would like to read even more if I had the time. Never have I ever gotten a speeding ticket. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I did get it once, but yeah, I'm not one for a speeding ticket. I think my husband put that on purpose because he complains that I drive, <laughs> I drive too slow. <laughs> so I think you can get a ticket for that as well. But yeah, I mean, since I had kids, I'm like so much more careful in how I drive than before kids. I don't know. Okay, that was it. That was number 52. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next video.